Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb, and I wanted to create this tutorial or this uh, uh, just explanation to show you how to install Google Analytics from scratch uh, on your website. Pretty basic idea of a few of the, of the functionality parts, and let's let's start with it. So um, first of all, of course, you have to have a website and know a little bit about your FTP about actually uh, updating a website. Um, so what you want to do is one. A number one, have some kind of Gmail or Google Apps account so you can actually use. The, the second step is to actually go to google.com slash analytics and you'll, you'll arrive at this uh, page. Um, all you basically do is here sign in, okay, so, uh, and then you'll get to these kind of uh, first steps. So you'll click here on sign up and um, you would probably, you have the option of either selecting universal analytics or classic analytics and of course you want to do universal. You want more data, more information, more options for future. So you want to have that and of course if you have a mobile app you can also do that but of course you need to be a developer. So website, universal analytics and account name. So we're just going to call it a descriptive name that talks, that describes our website. So this is for our website for this example. Uh, Astral Web, Inc. and uh, same thing. I'll just do it here. Um, main website Astral Web Inc. Okay, and the website HTTP. You can also do a secure if your website is only secure. AstralWebInc.com and industry category really not too important to have, so you can select or you or you don't need to. Uh, let's just do it here. Um, let's do business and uh, the, the time zone you want, of course, your own area. We're in Los Angeles, so that works. And uh, you can also choose if you want to share information with Google, uh, share anonymous information so they can improve uh, uh, their analytics. I have no problem with it. They can do it. If they don't know specifically about you know, my specific company, they just get it so they can improve their, their, uh, their product. I have no problem with that. Okay, so uh, now we just click on Get Tracking Idea, go over the terms, and uh, accept when we finish. Okay, great. So uh, now we arrive to kind of the, the admin area. If you see here, it's, it's uh, highlighted. So the first thing you really want to do is go over these settings, and then after, at the end, when we finish the settings, we're going to copy the code into our website, make sure it works, and we're good to go. So uh, let's just go a little bit one by one. Uh, let's go to the property settings right here. Again, this is the same information we want. Um, and then uh, the other thing I re would recommend to do, we can skip these for now, I would really recommend doing is uh, also setting up Webmaster Tools. And when you set up Webmaster Tools, you want to link both Analytics and Webmaster Tools together to get more data in, in both of the, the pro uh, both of the uh, products. So it, it's really helpful because Webmaster Tool has kind of a, um, some additional features like a ranking, uh, average ranking of your keywords, and if you share that information, it's just better. So obviously, you need to first set up analytics, then set up Webmaster Tools, and then come back, click on edit, and then you kind of connect, you approve uh, the website. Now, we don't have any verified because we haven't done it. I erased everything on our website so I can create this tutorial. Okay, so um, th this is fine for now. Let's go to the user management. That basically, if you want to add more people to manage your website, uh, maybe some uh, a development company or another worker in your company, pretty straightforward. So you can either set and let them just read uh, the information or actually manage it or edit and stuff like that. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's go back to the tracking info. Again, the tracking code we saw. Um, session settings for default, you really don't need to change that. Um, organic search, all these you really don't need for, for kind of the basic installation. Okay, so uh, remarketing, if we can go to the next one, is a service uh, of Google tied into their AdWords, so their pay-per-click or their ad campaigns, that if you um, kind of add some extra information, you actually enable Google to see who's visiting your website. So you can later on target them in a very specific way. Uh, but again, we're not going to uh, get to that right now. 
So um, let's go to custom definitions. Also, most likely we don't need anything here. Um, yeah, so we, we can keep this and then social settings, uh, the same thing we don't need. So really everything's kind of basic. You have everything ready from the get-go. Just type in you know, on the installation website and uh, universal. So uh, what we're going to do is basically copy this script right here. Click on copy and then go to our website. Okay, let's go to our website. And what we're going to do is we're going to want to paste in the code of the website on the footer. At the end of the, the website, at the end of the code, we're going to want to paste it. So let's go here, and I'm going to just use a, a simple FTP client. I'm going to go to the footer um, of all of the pages. We have it basically in an include. So if I update this footer, it'll update all the pages on the website. And you want to obviously include it on all pages. I want to go down to the bottom uh, right here before the end of the footer and I'll just paste it. Of course it includes our specific user ID and analytics and uh, that's it pretty much. So let me save this, make sure it's saved. And I'm going to load the website. I'm going to refresh and I'm going to take a look at the code to see if it's there. So view page source, go all the way to the bottom and it is right here. So now that the code is there, we still want to test it in analytics. So I'm going to go back to the main part, okay, and I'm going to go to reporting, and uh, right now there's nothing, of course, for the last 30 days, but because we have real-time um, um, tracking, now if I visit my website, you can see that the code works, because I'm on the website, I'm going to refresh again, and you can see that there's someone there, so you know that you installed, that's how you verify, you know that you installed Analytics correctly. It, for example, let me go to the About page right here and uh, right now you can see who's on which page so uh, it'll take a few more seconds and then right here you see someone's on the slash about page so um, that's pretty much it for the basic settings let me see if there's anything else we I want to recommend um, so uh, let's go to uh, again these few things so of course uh, before I mention if you have webmaster tools you want to set up Webmaster master tool and then link it to analytics. Now, if you also have uh, AdWords, you plan on paying for uh, uh, for paid ads, you also want to set up an AdWords account and link AdWords as well. That, again, shares the information between the two, so you can really take it a few steps further with conversion a a data and a few other things. Um, so let's see what else we can have. Uh, yeah, th that's basically it for kind of the basic thing. So. If you have any uh, questions about setting up, about a simple uh, setup, or even advanced things, or any questions you have, please ask on the, the comments in YouTube, and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much.